Hello, my name is Michelle Sertonio. I just watched a video where another young woman lost her life. That hits very close to me because I had a stepsister that took her own life. Her case was different than mine. She stayed in Utah where I'm sure she had good insurance because she was with the police force. And it seems like every other month she was back in for some type of surgery. And every time she came out, she was in more pain and more pain and more pain. She had kids. She actually had a family that supported her. Uh, I was a latchkey black sheep, so I didn't have any of that, even though I suffer daily with fibro. But watching this video on this poor girl that was put into an insane asylum, call it whatever you want, but that's what it is. You know, sometimes I feel like I should be there myself because I can't even get out of my house by myself. And when I go out with my partner, the sweats start. I get confused. I get upset. Uh, the last time I ventured out on my own, I was actually arrested in Macy's. Macy's, okay? I wanted to actually buy a birthday gift for the person that takes care of me because I would be in one of these places if I didn't have her. And my crime was is I put a t-shirt on over my clothes to try it on. I talked to a few people because I haven't been out in a while. It felt good. I, um, I found a nice gift for her. I actually found myself some black dress pants. You know, that's an amazing thing to find black dress pants that you look good in. Although I don't go out much anymore. And by the way, I used to go out all the time. I was a musician. I had a good following. I'm a hell of a singer and percussion player. So anyway, I have heard everything from every doctor. I, I had one doctor. Um, a lot of people, when they first get fibromyalgia or ME, like you're calling it in Britain, is you get problems with your stomach. Nothing stays in. You have to run to the bathroom or you're uh, constipated or, you know, so they call it. Uh, irritable bowel. So the doctor there told me it's because I had some uh, physical abuse when I was younger. Yeah, I did, but I don't believe that has anything to do with what I'm going through now. I had another doctor tell me because my pituitary level, pituitary in the brain, and it runs in my family, and there's been many problems with it. My pituitary level spiked, and I believe it went to about 280, 300 when it's supposed to be around 15, 18. I could be off on the numbers, you know, fiber fog. And um, it's an amazing thing what these doctors tell you. This doctor, uh, I told him I was a lesbian, so he told me it was probably because I had more um, stimulation on my nipples than other women, and that's why my pituitary spiked. <laughs> when I think of how many stupid doctors I've been to, uh, there's no wonder I have lost faith in the government, in doctors, in, in, in everything. I mean, it's like they put people in charge of medications that are part of the pharmaceutical companies. And then they let poor girls like this die. My younger sister killed herself. She was a former cop with kids. She put a gun to her head and she shot herself. I guess I'm angry today because this is the first week I've been up and I'm trying to catch up on all the work I have to do and then I'm blaming myself when I can't get it done. Uh, I haven't been able to sing or do parties or do anything that's in my soul. But you know what? I can help people out there because I've been getting at least two responses a day and you people are helping me out by talking to me and I'm happy that I'm helping you. And to the girl that wrote to me today that tried to hang yourself. God, don't do it. I know. I know the feeling of wanting to kill yourself. And I know the feeling of having your sister kill herself. And I know the feeling of laying in bed all day and when you first wake up. Wait, 
first wake up, that doesn't make sense because shit, how many times a night do you wake up? Four, five, six. Look at the clock, 12 o'clock. Wake back up. Ah, it's killing me, the pain. Two o'clock. Shit, it's only been two hours. I may as well get up and try to do something that I wasn't able to accomplish today. And all we do are we have doctors telling us that nothing is wrong with this. And this, when I just watched, the disbelief about the young woman that killed herself, they said she should have seen a, a rheumatoid doctor. I went to a rheumatoid doctor. Um, I want to write her a letter. I think I did write her a letter. I should post it. Because I went in there, and it was not long after I had a hysterectomy, or in my case, an evisceration, because I did not need the, I didn't need it. And that surgery put me over the edge even more. And then I was back in the hospital with what they called, um, what do they call it? Well, they didn't know what to call it, but my blood pressure was 180 over something high. And they had to keep me in the hospital for four or five days because the pain was so bad in my left leg because they did surgery on me when there was no need to. So I could have at least had some of my hormones at 42 to help me sleep. But this young woman killed herself. And they think, I don't want you guys to think that I'm saying anything bad about her. I feel for her. But going to another doctor isn't going to help because they're all the same. They no longer make money off of pharmaceuticals in the United States. Uh, I'm sure they do. They find a way around it. But they really make money off procedures. And I had this specialist tell me, oh, her name is Capella. I just remembered. K-A-P-I-L-A. -A. She's in Plantation, Florida. If you're listening to me, don't go to her. She said, why are you taking up time from a specialist? When I was in her office, I was sweating. My hair was wet. My arms were bandaged. I was in so much pain, I could barely move. And she said, why are you taking up my time? Because she's so important. I got to tell you, any of you doctors out there, you are not important if you are not helping your patients. There's a Hippocratic Oath somewhere. It doesn't say, let me make as much money as I can. It says, I shall help my patients. I shall do no harm. God, if, I, if we all went by that, none of you would be practicing. Uh, my next video is going to be on civil rights, on how I was uh, subjected to a, a sheriff that doesn't even know what pain is. He will someday because it comes around, trust me. And I still have to go to court against my attorney, the sheriff's office, and Macy's. If there's any civil rights lawyers out there, hey, I tried to find some on my own. If you want to help people out, email me back. A book. It's called Logic from a High School Dropout. Because I am sick and tired of everybody telling me and showing me and hurting me. And all because greed, greed, greed. I did some work on my own and my entire family is ill in one way or another. And there are different types of muscle degeneration. Uh, hi, my neurologist, you are a uh, F head too. By the way, um, you know, my cholesterol is up over a thousand. Maybe I have one of those diseases where my body doesn't digest fat. Hey, did we look into that? No. You heard fibromyalgia. You farmed me out to someone else because you told me yourself I was a difficult case. I didn't mean to get angry on this one, but when I hear people that are dying and I I didn't expect to see this young girl from Britain, but I got a disturbing email today. And I want to help this girl because I am feeling some relief with guaifenesin, with something simple, with which we can afford. But we need to get together and we need to help each other because there's no one else out there. This is Michelle Sertonio. You can reach me through this email. Uh, M. Sertonio is my username on YouTube. And if you want to help me help others, let's do it.
We need to get a, together a questionnaire. We need to see how many people have actually lost their lives. Because I'll bet you it's right up there with alcoholism or with sexual abuse. Because women, and probably men, kill themselves because they cannot go through pain. Just like my sister. Just like this girl that I heard from today. And I wouldn't be here had I found someone that would help me through this. Signing off to you. I'm going to lighten it up. And uh, the people that are putting those videos out with the music, you guys are incredible. Keep it up. Let's all get together. Let's not be sheep. Let's be leaders. And let's find a way through this and help each other. Michelle Sertonio out with Fibro Hell. Bye.